what God has given you is matchless. It is matchless. The enemy can try to duplicate it. He can try to create counterfeits. The enemy can try to copy you. He can try to do all sorts of things to see that he stands in your way, to obstruct you. But notice, brothers and sisters, that you are going to stand out. When people look at you, they will see a difference. They will see something unique about you. Because what God has placed in you, no one can copy. There is a gift in you, young man. There is a gift in you, lady. And that gift that God has given you, He wants you to use it. He does not want you to sit on your gift. There is something that God has placed in you. When you received Jesus, God gave you something. He made you unique. Brothers and sisters, you are the body of Christ. I wish somebody gets this revelation. Just like your body. Notice that Jesus is the head and you are the body. And when you look at the body, it has different parts. The arms are different from the legs. It has organs like the heart, the kidney. So some of you could be the hands. And the hands have different functions from the legs. So you are unique from one another. And you need each other. You need each other in this journey. You have to be united. The enemy will not copy what God has placed in you. Today's word is from the book of uh, Exodus 7, 8 to 13. Exodus 7, 8 to 13. And it reads, Then the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, When Pharaoh speaks to you, saying, Show a miracle for yourselves, then you shall say to Aaron, Take your rod and cast it before Pharaoh, and let it become a serpent. So Moses and Aaron went in to Pharaoh, and they did so. Just as the Lord commanded, and Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. But Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers and the magicians of Egypt. They also did in like manner with their enchantments. For every man threw down his rod, and they became serpents. But Aaron's rod swallowed up the ro their roads, and Pharaoh's heart grew hard, and he did not heed them, as the Lord had said. Glory to God. Remember the message is that whatever God has placed in you, the enemy will not stand it. He may try to copy it. He may create counterfeits. He may try to duplicate it, but yours will stand out. Now, this scripture that I've just read to you is that God tells Moses and Aaron to go to Pharaoh. And, uh, and God tells him that when Pharaoh speaks to you saying, show us a miracle for yourselves, then you shall say to Aaron to take his rod and cast it before Pharaoh, and let it become a serpent. Notice that Pharaoh uh, was being expected to speak. Some of you, your Pharaohs, the things that have held you captive, want to speak to you. They want to challenge you. They want to challenge your authority. They want to ch challenge the spiritual gift that is in you, within you. But brothers and sisters, whatever they bring, you will be on top. You will overcome because Jesus has already overcome. Now, the scripture says that Aaron did just as God had commanded him. 
And he cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants. And it became a serpent. Notice, this was a miracle. That the rod that Aaron was holding, upon casting it down on the ground, it turned into a serpent. I don't know how big that serpent was. But it turned into a serpent. Now, notice that Pharaoh had his magicians, had his people who could perform gimmicks, who could do a similar thing, who could do something counterfeit. He, the scripture says, But Pharaoh also called the wise men, the sorcerers, magicians of Egypt, and they also did in a like matter manner with their enchantments they did in a like manner they tried to copy but glory to god in verse 12 says for every man threw down his rod and they became serpents but aaron's rod swallowed up their roads my god may what god has placed in you swallow up that of the enemies just like how Aaron's rod swallowed the roads of uh, the magicians of Pharaoh. What God has placed in you will surpass that which the enemy has presented in your life. It swallowed them. That means what the things that the magicians had performed were useless. They were child's play. Compared to what uh, Moses and Aaron had. Because the power of God is bigger than the power of the enemy. It is bigger. It is bigger. Because there is power that works in you. That brothers and sisters, if you can use that power. There are things that you will do. That men and women will be surprised. Because Jesus says, greatest things shall you do than this. So God expects you to do greater things than what Jesus did. He expects you to do greater things. But a lot of people have not yet got this revelation. They just want to do small, small things. And yet God expects you to do greater things. Brothers and sisters, this is the good news that we preach to you. That whatever the enemy has presented to you, whether it is counterfeit, duplicate, you will surpass it. Because yours is original. And men and women will see the light in you. Well, I have come to the end of this message. One thing that I would like you to do, share this good news with somebody else. Uh, let somebody know of this good news. Uh, you can leave your comments in the comment section and you'll be blessed. Until next time, Shalom.